Driving a damped oscillator. A sinusoidally varying driving force is applied to a damped harmonic oscillator of force constant K and mass M. If the damping constant has a value B1, the amplitude is A1, when the driving angular frequency equals square root K over M. In terms of A1, what is the amplitude for the same driving frequency and the same driving force amplitude f max if the damping constant is 3B1 or B1 over 2? So first of all, let's recall that for a driven uh, damped harmonic oscillator, we have the amplitude equaling f max divided by m f max divided by m omega square minus omega zero square square plus b omega over m square square root so omega equals omega zero is the natural frequency resonance frequency that is k over m for a spring square root k over m so we would find the corresponding amplitude then in the resonance condition f max divided by m uh, this term would become zero so we would have b1 squared uh, divided by m squared and for omega squared, we have k over m. And then we have the square root. So we can see that the amplitude varies as 1 over b1. So the answer to part A of the question would be, if b1 is increased to 3b1, the amplitude would be, because it's proportional to 1 over b1, a1 divided by 3. If b1 is decreased to half of its value, the amplitude would be then 2a1. It would be doubled because it's proportional to 1 over b1. So it's either a1 over 3 or 2a1 depending on the value of b1. All right, so we're talking about a, a driving a damped oscillator. We recall that the amplitude of the uh, damped oscillator, which is driven by angular frequency omega sinusoidal force, is f max over m square root omega square minus omega zero square square, where omega zero is the natural frequency of oscillation square root k over m, plus b omega over m parentheses squared b is our damping constant. And when omega equals omega zero, we can see that the amplitude varies as one over the damping constant for the same angular frequency f max. Uh, and uh, we can see in terms of a1, uh, when we change the b1 value to three times b1, the amplitude will be one third a1. When we change the b1 to b1 over two, the amplitude will be twice the original amplitude.